Fahrenheit 451 takes place sometime in the future where owning books is illegal and the firemen burn the books and you can get arrested for owning them. The main characters in this story are Guy Montag, Mildred, which is his wife, Beatty, the captain of the fireman team, Clarice, a little girl he talks to and makes him rethink everything, and Faber, his buddy who he has known for a while and he helps him escape from the police. This book is about a fireman who talks to this little girl after work and he starts to realize what he does. The firemen in this story burn books because they are illegal. He was told all his life that these books just have fictional people and they are just nonsense. All the houses have a fireproof cover so that only the books burn when they start a fire. Montag starts keeping books secretly and hides them in a ceiling so nobody would find them. After his wife, Mildred, tries to burn his books, he gets angry with her and tells her he just wants to read through some of them to see if the books are just nonsense like he was told. Mildred then invites some friends over to show them that these books are nonsense and they should just burn the book, or they shouldn't keep any of the books. One of her friends starts crying because of the words that were spoken in one of the books. Mildred then sends an alarm to the fireman's station to have them burn the books without Montag knowing, because he was at home sick. When they start burning the books, they also cut the fireproof layer from his house and burn his house down, as well as burn the books. Montag does not like this and gets really upset and uses the flamethrower he owns to burn Beatty because they were burning his books and his house down. He also burns the Hound, which is a robot dog that helps the firemen. Montag is then on the run from the police, who brought in a Hound from another fire station to track down his scent. Montag runs to Faber's house, where he watches the police chase on TV for a bit, and then gets alcohol to get rid of his, uh, get rid of his scent. He has Faber give him some of his dirty clothes, and he puts them in a suitcase, and then he pours alcohol all over them to get rid of the scent. Faber also wipes down the handles, burns the chairs and bed sheets, and turns on the sprinkler system to get rid of as much of Montag's scent as possible. This works, and the hound doesn't stop at his house, but goes to the river that Montag is running to. Then Montag, When Montag gets there, he takes off his clothes, pours alcohol over himself, and wears the dirty clothes that Faber gave him. Montag floats down the river for a bit and reaches a barn, where he stays there for the night. In the morning, he floats down the river some more until he reaches the tracks that are abandoned and only the homeless people live there. Some of these homeless people watched the live chase and knew who he was. They invite him over to their fire and they sit for a bit, getting warmed up. These homeless people are actually people who are being chased for the same reason that Montag was. They all memorized a book, told each other about their book, and memorized those books that they wouldn't get caught with any physical copies of them. They then slept for the night and walked until they reached the city in the morning. A war has started and they watch as planes go above the city. One drops a bomb and everything disintegrates, just becomes a pile of dust. Montag and the homeless people are blown down by the explosion and after a while they get up and walk to the river to get all the dust off. They then eat and walk back upstream away from the explosion and talk about what the future would be like. And I would not change anything about this book. I feel like the book was well written and I enjoyed it. I, spe I especially liked how descriptive he was with the small details. So much so that it was almost like I was there. I would recommend this book to anyone who likes books that have futuristic books. Books where there are different laws or books that change the way something is today and make it have the opposite use of what it has now.